right, Trevor, what game we playing today? We are playing Gravwell. <laughs> or some pronounce it Gravwell. Gravwell. So, Why? Because we're playing with gravity? That is correct. We're playing with gravity and spaceships, and that's how gravity works, is with mass. Nice. Do you like Gravwell? I do. It's a fun game. Fun, light game. Cool. All right. Well, show me what the objective is here. What are you trying to do? So, there can be a max of four players, and you will choose what color ship you want. Yep. Um, once you have that, basically the point is to get all the way around your little whirly-twirly board to the warp gate, or be the farthest along on that track by the end of round six. Oh, cool. Have but ever... it doesn't get to round six very often. <laughs> no. We escape by then. Well, cool. Well, seems pretty easy. Well, how do you escape the black hole here? So, you start out the game. By depending on how many players there are, if there are four players, you're going to have six stacks of these. Each stack includes one face-up card and one face-down card. And you just take turns choosing which stack you want and um, until you each have six cards. Okay. And then you Let's take a look it. at your cards. So okay. yeah, I'll, let's say I pick this one, this one, and this one. All right. So there are three different types of cards. Okay. There are pink cards, green cards, and blue cards. Um, what green does is it works with gravity. It moves you seven spaces in the direction of the nearest spaceship. Okay. So to start out the game, you have um, neutral spaceships right here and right here so that everybody's initially going forward. So say I'm blue and I play the seven. You'd go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then, likewise, the next person, if they played green, would move, say they played like a green three, they'd move three spaces towards the nearest spaceship. Okay. Um, purple repels. So if you don't want to work with gravity, and instead of going towards the nearest spaceship, you want to move away from the nearest spaceship, you'd play a purple card. Okay. That would be like, say, if you were right here and there's no spaceships in front of you, or... Um, yeah. the nearest spaceship is behind you, you'd want to play a purple card to move yourself further. Push away from gravity. Nice. Yeah. And then blue cards move everybody on the board towards you that many spaces. Alright, so to give a better example, we got some people out on the board. Yes, let's uh, take a look at how a turn plays out. Okay. So what you have, you have your hand of cards, and everybody simultaneously chooses a card they want to play. Once everybody has picked their card, you all put it down at the same time. Okay. So, um, I'm acting as blue, this is black, yellow, and red. So you're so, blue, what are you wanting to do? Blue, as blue, I'm wanting, since I picked my repulsor card, the closest spaceship to me is black, and I want to repulse away from black so I can get that way. Okay. Because you repulse away from the closest spaceship to you. Right. So that's my That's what plan. you're planning. Okay. Now, cool. when everybody flips their card over at the same time, you see what everyone else was planning and you go in alphabetical order depending on the card. So the first one would be D, which is black, and since blue is the closest spaceship to him, he will move in that direction five spaces. One, two, three, four, five, and then he goes one more. Because you can't share a space. That's right. Okay, so black ended up going first. That's right. Who's next? Next on the list is yellow. He is H. He had previously planned on black being right here so that he could go that way, but now since black is up here, the closest spaceship is right here, and he would have to move this way four spaces. Oh. However, each person has an emergency stop they can use if an occasion like this occurs. They say, just kidding, I don't want to move at all, and they just stay where they are. Ah, so they got a block. So he was thinking he'd go forward, but based off of what everybody else played, the things change. A little things bit of random. Cool. Now, I would kind of be stuck in the same position, since I don't want to repulse away from red, because I would send me that way. So I would emergency stop as well. <laughs> and then red, since he is trapped in the middle and has equal space between these two, you then uh, count the number of spaceships on each side, and whichever side has more spaceships, they go in that direction. So since there's two on this side and three on this side, he'd have to go in this way. And he would probably end up playing his emergency stop as well. So really, black is the only one that comes out good in this situation. Wow. And you've got six cards for each round. Yep. So if you use your emergency stop early in the round, 
You're just gonna have to deal with it. And you toast. Yep, you get this once per round. So you say stop, and then you have five more cards to be like, okay, let's hope something goes well. <laughs> so that's what makes Gravel so cool. It's pretty random, pretty. You try to plan, but then something else happens, and you're like, well, crap, that kind of just twisted <laughs> my plan around. So. so you can see why it's a little bit hard to escape. And even once you get out there, once you get past it, you're going to need other spaceships out there with you. Because mm -hmm. sometimes you can get an early lead, get way out here. Yep. If you're way out here, unless you have purple cards to repulse you, you're going to be going this way. So you don't tell us some other ships get up there with you. So yep. can you mess with the other players? A little bit. If you have blue cards, those are fun. Because if you're way in the back or you're way in the middle, you'll say, everyone move toward me. And then it's just like, <sighs> and you become the center of gravity. And it's big chaos. So... Then the next round, you put more cards out, and everybody drafts. So the second, third rounds, you're pretty much looking for those top kind of cards of which yeah. potential pile and you each, want to grab. Each round is the six cards, not each individual turn you play. So each round progresses which, with every six cards you play once your hand is depleted. And yep. then you'll reshuffle and do what we explained. Do your start. draft again of what card you want to pull. Whew. And you know what everybody's got. You know who's wanting repulsor cards, what you're going to take. But you don't know what's underneath it. Pretty cool. All right. So what would you rate Gravwell? I would give it a 3.5. Nice. Fun game. Fun game. It's fun. I like it. All right. Thanks, Jeff. You bet.